Let's talk about your solo project. Oh, first and foremost, what made you decide to go solo? Was it just as a result of the fact that, that Boys in the Hood, the group itself, was starting to break up? Or was that always the plan for y'all? I mean, for me, I just knew what I knew. And all I knew how to do at that time was work. If I didn't work, I didn't eat. Mm -hmm. I never changed. That's how I am now to this day. If you are, if you can't be used, you're useless, right? And I seen that, oh, wow, these records, are like they like they like mushrooms. They like uh, for Mario Brothers. They like um, uh, the coins for the coins for Sonic. Meaning, it's a group of cats that don't make music, right? They don't make music, but they make decisions, right? And then that you know what I'm saying? They 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 these these, these it's some grown it's some grown powerful strong black men that got it that you know they got it and and but they not ever finna walk in the booth they just look they but they come up when they when they pull up they're like what they want to hear something new and i can see the temperature change when a boys and hood record gets done or two or three of them get done or or, or, or a drop record get done or even when i do a record so once i figured out all i gotta do is deliver records all i gotta do is deliver I know how to move. I know how to make sure no matter what happens, how the temperature goes up and down, if I deliver a record every day, I'm doing my job. Because nobody expects me to, to do anything outside of what I do. Matter of fact, when you get out your lane, you become a problem. Because you ain't great at it. We, we don't need Steph Curry to play center. He probably does know how to rebound, but he's not built for, for to be the best rebounder. Just it doesn't have the the the, the by the frame for it, but so we want you to be who you are. Still hold the ball, do your things, you know, shoot and score and and lead and guide. We don't need you down here uh, being Charles Barkley. We don't need you because it just don't fit. So saying that, um, I didn't have to uh, to, to worry about uh, the designs of a single cover or, uh, you know, get on those big meetings, you know, to see where a budget gonna go. I ain't have to go, I ain't have to, you know, I ain't have that one my job. My job to make everybody else's job easy to make sure I gave you a record every day. Correct. Correct, okay. Uh, so again, that, that, that Boys in the Hood second album come out, didn't do the, the backup in the Chevy, didn't do as great as the first one did. You all, right now, you're already out there with Jock piggybacking with him with his first two singles, and it's your time. Hood figure drop. Your world must have changed almost overnight, because it's one thing to be on a Jock record. It's another thing to be part of a four-member group, but it's a whole other thing when you the center of attraction, everybody came to see you. It's your video. The, the, the marquee says Gorilla Zoe. <laughs> when that record dropped, yeah. how, how did your world change? Did it, did it instantly touch down for you? Did you feel like, yo, this record, it, yeah. it, it started out slow, but it picked up? Like, what's going through your brain? I didn't know it, how, it, it was. It, it, when it happens, it happens behind the scenes first. So, and I'm not, you don't, if you don't know that you ain't behind the scenes, you don't know that, you know, people are flying in and scouting this record and checking the crowd participation and seeing when, how long, how many, how long is it gonna take before it gets to where we need to get to before we do what we gotta do. So, for me, I didn't see all that. I'm just, you know, I don't even know how I go. So at that point in time, it feels like it happens literally. One day it's lukewarm, one day it's pow. It feels like that, but it I know it's the work and the decision making, the dates and times, all that's all that's real. Um but I it instantly when it hit, it instantly like it hit. It hit. I'm talking about it hit. Okay, it hit. let me help you out right here. Like 
we we talk in 2007. Um, your joint drops, it peaks at number 18 on the Billboard Top 200. Out of 200 records, of the millions of records that's out there, your joint peak at number 18. Come in number eight on the R&B and hip hop albums chart. And number three on the top rap albums. You a bona fide star at that point. Yeah. Like legit bona fide star. You out there, you doing shows. How much are you getting for a show at this point? Twenty, I think, from my my knowledge, like twenty seventeen and twenty. You know what I'm saying? I did like between seven and, and then ain't the money ain't the same. The numbers ain't the same as they are today. You know what I'm saying? So like that was to jump out the gate with that. Yeah, that was crazy. That was yeah, crazy. I mean, you're killing it at that point. You're making a lot of money. And you know, I ask all rappers this, like. When, when when that money started rolling in, what was your first big purchase? A house. Bought a crib. So you actually did right by your money. I did. I did the best that I um that I knew. You know, you make. Uh, you can always. The more you learn, the more you live. The more you grow. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, hindsight is a lot clearer. But uh, yeah, I, I think I I I did good. Uh, where I came from, to where I, where I came from, to where I was going, and where I'm at, I think I'm I'm for sure, for sure. Just and and that's just being guided. You know what I'm saying? Because you can do what you want to do, and if ain't nobody around, say, hey man, you know, don't forget why you're doing this. You know. Don't forget why you're doing this. Don't forget what you know what you told me. That the reason why you wanted you would do it, you know. You know what I mean? So it was always for me, it was always, it's always family. It was mm -hmm. always family. Always, always, always thought about uh my motivation was uh people I love. You know what I'm saying? I you know, I don't I know what I can what I'm able to withstand, but I don't. I don't ever want anybody else to have to go through some of the stuff that I, you know, I had to go through, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and my motivating factor was never, ever trying to, you know, show somebody on the beast. Was, you know, the band was always, you know, I did what I had to do, you know what I'm saying? No, I, I, I got you. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can ask people, that same question, depending on the person, it's going, you know, some people are like, yo, I tricked my money off. Like, like I went and I got a, you know, a chain. I went and I bought a fleet of cars. So the fact that you're like, nah, when that, when that money started rolling in and I started to see real checks, my first big pay purchase was a, was a crib. That ain't bad because you're still a young man at that time. I built a studio in it, and, you know, and started, you know, it was it was dope. That's a, one of the reasons why I was able to keep, you know, keep servicing as the game changed, be able to continue on servicing music at a high volume. Mm -hmm. Um, whether it was the mixtape sites, or you know, what I'm saying, or somebody needs me to write some or a feature, uh, the studio on the bottom of the house, it uh, it helped a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that was the biggest. That was, I think that's the biggest and the best purchase I, I made with anyone. Anyway. Right. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.